Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Xfinity Center here in College Park, Maryland, for tonight's non-conference showdown between the Maryland Terrapins and the Fordham Rams. I'm John Vitas, alongside my partner, Matt Present. Rashad Pack, right wing, posting up Wells, running baseline. They isolate Dez, and he kicks it to the corner for Lehman. Pops one from the corner, and that one gets the roll in Maryland. Out to an early 3-0 lead. And Pascal, a usual starter, we mentioned 31 points in their first game and now playing without him. And Fordham now into a 2-3 zone and Wells trying to shoot him out of it and knocks it down. We talked about it earlier, Matt, Des Wells starting to show that he can hit the three-point shot consistently. They try to squeeze it for Pack, he feeds it inside for Lehman, who's fouled and comes down hard and he'll go to the line for a pair. No one has played 30 minutes in any of Maryland's two games. That one. No good, Dodd the initial board, and then Lehman recovers it along the baseline. Now Pack pushing the other way for Maryland. No numbers, but he goes up anyway and scores. Rashad Pack strong to the rim. They get it to Sangfelder, who lost it, knocked away by Dodd, but Smith runs it down for Fordham. They find Zarkovich in the corner, feeds it inside for Sangfelder, who lays it home. Well slicing, swings it, and now Lehman from the left wing, knocks it down. That's Rooms. And now a three-point attempt by Suarez, the big man, showing off some range. And Wells had it taken away by Suarez. Suarez pushing the break. Wiley is back with a good move by the big man. No good. Trying to pull down his own board. He can't. Severe able to get it through. Here's Zarkovich driving against Graham with the left hand. No good. And Wiley skies high for the rebound. And they're doing it again tonight. Five to shoot. Nickens has to pop from the corner and he drills it. Jared Nickens from three. Maryland back up by five. Pack to the corner, Wiley around Senkfelder, tries to feed the middle, Graham couldn't get a hand on it, but does tip it out to Pack. Pumps again, the off-balance shot, rattles out, and skying in is Dodd for the rebound. Probably happy they're only down five. Here's Wiley down the lane, changes direction, swatted by Suarez. They push up ahead for Thomas, Pack got back on defense. Near side, Smith wide open for three, and it's no good. Wiley another rebound, they push to Wells. Wells with Suarez in position, and Dez called for the charge. Maryland didn't like it, but Suarez playing well defensively for Fordham. We'll head to a break. Dez Wells starting to push the action in transition. Maryland by five. Sarkovich drops one off. Thomas bothered by Trimble. And Zarkovich resets with 20 to shoot. Around a room screen. They go to the corner for Suarez. Good D from Wells. Rooms posting up Graham. Backing down against Graham and laying it home. How about that play from Ryan Rooms? Rooms a career 62% shooter. Here's Trimble. And then the follow by Wells. Des Wells with the left hand. He's got five. And they're going to call a carry against Melo Trimble there. So Maryland's offense, which was strong. In the first two games, a little bit sluggish here tonight against Fordham. We'll head to a quick break with Maryland on top by three. Pack pumping in the corner, loses Suarez, makes, makes a nice move baseline, and Rashad Pack showing off his offensive game. They work it around the outside. Wells cross court for Pack. Trimble defended by Severe, finds Nickens open in the corner. Jared Nickens gets the roll. Caught every part of the rim and fell for Jared Nickens. The Terps by seven. Their largest lead of the night. Matt Tompacore is a guy who is in a similar situation as Mark Turgeon, maybe on the hot seat after not producing much for his program as far as improvement over his five seasons in Rose Hill. Pacora got the, uh, the fan base excited after wins against St. John's and Georgia Tech early in his tenure. He came over from Hofstra where he led the pride to four straight 20 win seasons, so his stock was high. He worked under Jay Wright and Ro Raleigh Massimino at UNLV. So Fordham was excited about the hire five years ago, but Pecora has not really taken that step forward in the A-10 conference, a very tough A-10 conference. Severe trying to find somebody who can let it go quickly. Suarez has to force one, goes underhanded, and Tchaikovsky battling rooms for the rebound, and they call it a jump ball, and Fordham will have possession. Fordham now breaks into a man-to-man, -man and he has his pocket picked by Severe. Here comes Severe, one-on-one -on -one with Wells with the right hand, and he gets it to go. Good finish at the rim by John Severe, who makes it a five-point game as these two teams head to the locker room. No one, no player on either side 
has hit more than two shots and no player has more than six points. But Mello Trimble gets the offense going early, drills that three. And now Sengfelder will pull up and he knocks it down. So in a game that struggled to find any offense in the first half, the first two attempts are three-point attempts, and they're both good, one for either side. And Fordham back to the 2-3 zone. That worked well for them in half number one. Pack to Lehman, defended tightly by Zarkovich. He drives against him and scores. Jake Lehman slicing through the lane. He has shown the ability to do that throughout the first few games this year. We talked about Thomas stepping into the starting lineup tonight, just one of eight shooting in the first half, and he took a few shots that were pretty forced. Pack has a look, and Pack has a tray. He averaged 17 and 11 his senior year at Cardozo High School, eventually losing to boys and girls in the Queensboro Championship. Maryland sticking with the man-to-man. -man. Zarkovich to the corner, and now Senkfelder will let one go, and he knocks it down. So there's the answer, Matt. It's Christian Senkfelder with another three. You got to think Coach Turgeon went to the, the whiteboard in the locker room and tried to figure out something against the zone. And Wells, there's an answer. Des Wells uses the backboard and has a chance for a three-point play. One of Wells' strengths is his driving ability. And you see him carving up the Fordham zone there. Sarkovich one-on-one -on -one with Trimble. Showing some handles. Swings it to Senkfelder. Thought about it. One-on-one -on -one with the Maryland point guard. And now Zarkovich left open for three. No good, and Lehman goes high for the rebound and comes down on top of Rooms, and he draws the foul. There you see Dez, the newest member of Maryland's 1,000-point club. We'll head to a quick break here on BTN Plus with the Terps leading by 10. Inside for Rooms, who got some space against Tchaikovsky, but then lost his balance and fired one for a teammate. But Wiley, the interception, and Lehman throws it down with the right hand. Jake Lehman over a defender, and Maryland by 13. And, to and Tom Pacora wants a timeout. How about that throwdown by Jake Lehman? Wiley around a Lehman screen, pulls up from 18. No good off the front of the rim. And Severe comes in for the rebound. And then Lehman the interception. Maryland's got numbers the other way. Forces one off head to pack, and then Jake running the floor, throws it down with two hands. Now Lehman thought about it, now gives it to Nickens, who's wide open in the corner. He's short, but follows his shot, puts up the floater, and he scores. So Nickens' persistence earns him two more. Number one, Thomas, and the foul against Nickens. So Nickens getting some run here from Coach Turgeon after showing some shooting prowess. Four freshmen on the court for Maryland, joined by Des Wells. This is that recruiting class that everybody talked about, and they find themselves on the court together. And it's not like he's taken a lot of those shots either. One for one from three tonight. And Tchaikovsky the dunk! Flushing it over Senkfelder. Pack swings for Trimble. 12 to shoot for the Terps. And Romello will pull up for three, and Trimble knocks it down. 10 to shoot for the Terps. Wiley launches one. The offensive board of Tchaikovsky using his size in the putback is good for Michael Tchaikovsky. Rashad Pack doing a good job to shimmy around Senkfelder. And Maryland leads by 19, their largest lead of the day. Filling it up is Rashad Pack as we are under four here from the Xfinity Center. Left wing, it's Thomas. Will pull up against Pack, and he knocks it down. Mandel Thomas, the answer for Fordham. So the offense starting to arise. The dust settles in Maryland, still up by 16. These two squads even on the boards. Both teams with 36 rebounds tonight. I'm sure Mark Turgeon not thrilled about that. And Demonte Dodd connects on the front end of the one and one. And then a poke away by Rom. And there you go, Matt, the defense you were talking about. Riley hits the second. To put it in perspective for Pascal, he won Westchester County's Mr. Basketball Award as a junior in high school, only the fourth junior to ever win that award. And you have heard of two out of the other three, Ben Gordon and Elton Brandt on that list. And Fordham's Eric Pascal joins them against Rom driving and Dodd coming over for the help. No good, and Wiley the rebound, and that should do it. Fordham will let him go as Rom gets it across half court, and the Terrapins will start 3-0 here at home. They're, they took out Wagner, Central Connecticut State, and now they can add Fordham to the list as the final will be 66-50. The Terps walking through their first three games unscathed and will head to Kansas City to take on Arizona State on Monday.